Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone Beck with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to report T Mobile's network guidance for the year of 2017 and where they should be by the end of this year. So, currently, T Mobile has 84% of the U.S. population covered with extended range LTE. <clears throat> they have a few more licenses to go that, that are unused, that they, you know, Chicago for one, and then a couple of other places that they're rolling out extended range LTE. And then by the end of this year, they said they will have 100% of their licenses rolled out throughout the US and that, <clears throat> and then that rollout will be completed. Next, T-Mobile says by the end of this year, they will cover 320 million people with their pops of LTE. So that means they're moving into the South Dakotas, the North Dakotas, the, the Montanas, so that is definitely really good to see them expanding. And so that means they will open up more retail stores on both Metro and T-Mobile side. That means more distribution. That means bigger growth. So T-Mobile will take on a lot more growth in the year of 2017 and going into 2018. So that's really exciting to see. And in all honesty, I think T-Mobile will be Verizon's biggest competitor going forward. Unless AT&T just does something bananas out of this world, Verizon, I mean, T-Mobile will be Verizon's biggest competitor. Next, here's a chart of average 4G LTE speeds in quarter 4 of 2016. And again, this is coming from T-Mobile, so take it with a grain of salt. I just wanted to add it in. T-Mobile says these reports come from Ookla, Ookla and billions of people that are running these speed tests on a daily so as you can see, T-Mobile number one, Verizon two, AT&T three, Sprint fourth. So Verizon and T-Mobile are neck and neck. And AT&T is also really close. And then Sprint is fourth with 15.2 megabits. So if I'm T-Mobile, I'm a little bit concerned here. Verizon has doubled the amount of customers that you do and you're barely beating them. I mean, barely. If I'm Timo, I'm concerned. I should be blowing Verizon out the water because I have less customers. But that's not the case. So we'll see now that Verizon is offering unlimited. We'll see how their speeds are going into 2017 Q1, Q2. So we'll definitely got we'll definitely have some exciting movement going on there. I will also do my own testing, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. I'm almost at 15 gigabytes, so I'm getting close to their uh, their threshold of 22 gigabytes, so stay tuned. I will definitely do some testing to see if there's any slowdown or anything like that. So definitely like these videos. It keeps me going, keeps me motivated. Like, share, subscribe, and this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.